Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on Ghost Paper. And following the previous video that I did about basic gestures on Procreate for beginners, now for this video we're going to talk about advanced gestures that you can have in Procreate in order to also speed up your productivity. So for this video, we're only going to use our fingers once again, and I'm going to rest my Apple Pencil here at the top of my iPad. So in order to go through this lesson, I've prepared a file for you with three layers. It's this file here, and the three layers are just three circles. One was the purple one, the orange one, and a pink one. And the first gesture that I want to show you is if you've been using Procreate for a while and you wanted to duplicate multiple layers at the same time, you probably went through the same problem. And I definitely myself encountered this problem many times. And let's just say that we want to duplicate all these three layers. So what you probably have done in the past is that you've grouped all three layers, then just sliding to the right here, clicking duplicate, you now have the two copies of the set that you wanted to duplicate. But with that, you actually, you know, you have to bring layers into groups and then ungroup them in order to continue working. So let me just show you an easier way. So I'm just going to undo my actions here. I'm going to undo the group items and now with all three layers, I'm just going to click on all three layers and just bring it into the, the canvas. And with that, I've duplicated my selection. Now the next step that I want to show you is what if you want to duplicate the same amount of layers onto a new file? Well, all that we have to do, we're going to head back into the layers panel. We're going to select all of our three layers and now we're going to touch bring it into the canvas don't let go we're going with our other hand click on gallery go onto the file we want to copy our layers to and we're just going to drop and procreate will import all those layers at the same place that you had on the previous file now the next one is a trick for you to find layers without even having to open the layers panel. So for this example here, we're looking at our composition and now we have a little bit of these leftover graphics. So as you're making characters, as you're drawing elements, it is also very common that you actually by mistake leave sometimes some of these elements and when your illustrations actually get piled up with multiple and multiple layers, it becomes actually very hard to find what is the layer that actually contains these, let's just say these garbage graphics, the ones that you want to actually delete them. And you would actually have, if you've also been through this situation before, you would have to be turning on and off opacity until you finally detect which layer actually has those. And you just go here and you can, I'm just going to increase the brush size here, you can delete them. But now, let me just show you an easier way that we can detect these graphics, that we can edit layers without even having to open the layers panel. So first I'm just going to undo my actions here so we keep those unwanted little elements. And first we have to click on the actions menu, we're going to go into preferences and we're going to go into gesture controls. Now the option that I want you guys to actually take a look at is the layer select, which is right here almost at the bottom. So in my case here, I'm going to use touch in order to evoke layer select. So now when I hit done, watch what happens when I scrub with one finger onto the canvas. You see the Procreate is telling me that each one of these elements belong to a different layer and I can even scrub to the little graphic here. Let me just do this again onto the elements that I want to remove and Procreate will have that layer one selected. Now, because I use that option of just uh, finger scrubbing in order to evoke layer select, I won't really be able to use the tool and I will have to actually use my Apple Pencil to delete these unwanted pixels. And as a bonus tip guys, make sure to use the quick menu, which also really improves the productivity of your illustrations if you set it the proper way. So what do I mean by that? So let's go back into the actions menu go back into preferences, gesture controls, and here on quick menu, the way that I have my quick menu set up is with a touch and hold feature and I've set it to a very short delay of 0.15 of a second. And why have I set it to such a short delay? 
It's because I want to activate this super quickly and I can also activate it and quickly select what I want. So you can also customize any of these six options by just pressing and holding on to any of these options and then selecting from this uh, really big options list here that Procreate gives you in order to set your six preferred uh, options in the quick menu. In my case, I have painting, erasing, a new layer, merging down a layer, flipping the canvas horizontally and the eyedropper tool. So for me to just go here and new layer, uh, sorry, actually painting, go here again, erasing, go here, a new layer, merge down that layer, flip the canvas horizontally, and finally eyedropper. It is all very, very fast. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, a like would be super appreciated, as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of these tips and tricks, reviews, and speed paint videos, and that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Now, make sure to click on the video that is on the right side of the page right here in order to learn a little bit more about Procreate. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.